एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कीन्स थ्योरी ऑफ डिमांड पुल इन्फ्लेशन दिस थ्योरी मेनली एक्सप्लेन हाउ इम्बैलेंस बिटवीन एग्रीकेट डिमांड एंड सप्लाई क्रिएट इन्फ्लेशन दिस थ्योरी मेनली एक्सप्लेन हाउ इम्बैलेंस बिटवीन एग्रीकेट डिमांड एंड सप्लाई क्रिएट इन्फ्लेशन when aggregate demand is more than aggregate supply then prices will rise because too much money chasing very few goods in market and this theory is based on short time period according to this theory there are two causes of inflationary situation first is when more demand as compared to supply obviously when there is more demand as compared to supply prices will increase second cause is money supply increase as money supply increase interested fall because there is more money in market as interested for investment increase increase in investment will increase aggregate demand and increase in aggregate demand first of all effect output not prices but when supply of factor of production become inelastic short then cost of production will increase and increase in cost of production will force producer to increase prices eventually it will lead to inflationary situation now we understand this theory with the help of diagram here we have two figures a and b and both are connected with each other on x axis of both side we have income income and on y axis this side we have price level and y axis this side we have interest rate here i represent investment s represent saving is curve represent equilibrium in mean goods market l represent liquidity or we can say money demand m represent money supply lm curve represent equilibrium money market at this e point both curve intersect each other which represent full employment in economy at full employment level our income is yf and interest rate is or corresponding to this e point this e also represent full employment in economy SS is supply curve, DD is demand curve. At full employment level, both curve intersect each other, and our equilibrium price is OP, and equilibrium income is OYF. Now suppose government increase expenditure. As government increase expenditure, our IS curve shift rightward. This is our new IS curve. because the government expenditure influence equilibrium in goods market after government expenditure demand for goods and services increase that's why our is curve shift rightward our new equilibrium point is e1 at this equilibrium point you can see our income as well as interest rate both has increased our income has increased from yf to y1 interest rate has increased from r to r1 income has increased because through government expenditure government creates so many employment opportunity eventually income increase in economy interest rate increase because in order to do expenditure government borrow money from banks as a result demand for money increase eventually interest rate also increase so this is our new equilibrium point e1 corresponding to this our new equilibrium point is e1 this e1 and this e1 both represent same situation in economy here you can see after government expenditure our aggregate demand has increased we have e even excess demand in economy because supply cannot increase after full employment as a result price increase from op to op1 as price increase value of money fall but when price increase money demand increase as money demand increase interest rate also increase increase in money demand and interest rate will shift to lm curve leftward and this is our new lm curve here you can see our interest rate has increased from r1 to r2 and our new equilibrium point is e2 and corresponding to this in this diagram our new equilibrium point is e2 so at this both e2 e2 point we have achieved our full employment income yf yf but at a higher prices and higher interest rate as compared to previous full employment level but one thing is that at uh, this e2 point uh, our excess demand e even has reduced which was increased because of uh, government expenditure so this is all about king's theory of demand pull inflation i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care